Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for September 15th, 2020. We have another money card today. <laughs> this is Pyrite, let the money flow in. Look at how this works. All that stuff that we were talking about yesterday, this is the result. This is how things open up. This is where you start realizing, it feels like realizing the truth of a situation, okay? Where, you know, especially if you're feeling a lot of guilt. Now, if you're somebody out who's out there, you're taking advantage of people and you're just obsessed with money, well, you're probably in a different category, okay? And um, I don't know, <laughs> maybe maybe not the nicest things are heading your way. It's pretty simple, do unto others, right? So just be aware of that. And it feels like there's something opening here, but if you're like, <laughs> imagine, I don't know, I'm thinking of like little kids. And all they want are the cookies, the cookies, the cookies, the cookies. They got to get the cookies. They'll push another kid out of the way to get to the cookies. And if they don't get the cookies when they want, they're going to throw a tantrum. And then finally they figure out, okay, well, I just need to go play for a little bit. Or I need to complete my lessons first. And then I can have the cookie. And then when it's finally cookie time... They're freaking out and going, oh my God, this is the best thing in the world. But at the end of the day, it's just a cookie. It was never that important. We make it important. We make money important. How many times have you seen people, have you ever seen this where uh, somebody has all the labels, all the labels on, and they really, truly believe that that makes them a better person than other people. It's so cringy. I'm sorry, but it's cringy. It kind of is. And conversely, like I'm somebody, I have a few things that would be considered a label, okay? But it was like, you know, I got a good deal on it or it was sent to me for review purposes or, you know, I just kind of acquired it. I don't know, it just kind of came my way. But when I wear them, okay, or if it's my car or whatever, I don't, you know, have these material things and think that I'm better than anybody else. If anything, I start to feel a little guilty about it because I see people's jealousy. And that in and of itself doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me because I'm like, if I can get it, you can get it. And why do we care about it anyway? What's the big deal? Letting the money flow in has to do with releasing yourself from the pressure to have things and worrying about your status through things. I know we're not there yet. I know we're still very much in a society that, you know, do you have $2,000 shoes on? Then you're a force to be reckoned with. Uh, yeah. Or you went to a sample sale, honey. I, I lived in New York. I'm an official New Yorker. Now I spent most of my adult life there. I know about sample sales. Okay. Don't try me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the status symbols, we have to start learning to let that go. We have to uh, tap into what real happiness is. I know that's kind of a generic way of putting it, but that's the best way I can think of right now to put it. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.